The creative and entertainment industry in Nigeria has become a key driver of growth and one of the most rapidly growing sectors of the Nigerian economy. Now, analysts say the cinema business, which is a major part of the nation's film industry, is capable of becoming a major driver of economic growth and job creation here in Nigeria. However, this can only be achieved if the potential is harnessed effectively. It is 2 p.m. on Saturday afternoon and the crowd is beginning to gather at Film House Cinema in Lagos. People of all ages are trooping in to relax and hang out with friends and family. Others buy movie tickets to see their favorite film. The same thing happens even on weekdays. From the early hours of the day to very late at night, the cinemas are usually packed full. This is the new face of cinema life in Nigeria. Like a little man. A briefing. Prior to the advent of the television and home video in Nigeria, cinema was one of the major means of entertainment and realization in the country. The cinema business flourished from 1903 up to the late 1980s. But towards the late 1980s, the cinema culture began to face a major decline, resulting in some of the existing cinema houses shutting down. And by 1999, Virtually all cinema houses in Nigeria had collapsed. But 2004 saw a gradual rebirth with the opening of the first modern movie theater in Lagos. 13 years after, the industry has witnessed a massive growth and expansion and now considered the biggest in Africa. 2004, the modern cinema came back to Nigeria. You know, so we saw this whilst working overseas and we decided that you know, we have the expertise to come and help and add to what was happening in Nigeria. And that's what we decided to do. So far, you know, I, I think it's been fantastic. You know, um, a number of people, particularly the business side of the industry people, have come together and, and, and we've joined them uh, to, to build the cinema industry in Nigeria to what it is today. The cinemas have made it possible for the audience to come and enjoy themselves here, but the audience have determined the standards they want. So the producers, Nollywood, has taken that up as a challenge to say, OK, if this is what you want, we're going to give you that. With over 52 cinema centers scattered across the country, Nigeria cinemas are built to meet international standards. The Highmark Cinema in Lagos is one of them. It has the biggest 3D screen in West Africa and seats over 320 people. When we started building cinemas, we built regular multiplex cinemas, nice, the ambience, amazing. You know, let us, I'm sorry, comfort seats, stadium seating, luxurious seating. And then we moved to 3D. And, and, and you know, so when you watch films with the 3D glasses, amazing, you know. Then we also added digital. We all moved to digital. And so the films, the picture became crisp, crispier. The sound became better. Then we moved again in this cinema here, the IMAX location, to IMAX, you know. So here we have, we have premium screens. We have two premium screens with, with extra leg room. Then we have the signature screen, which is like business class on a plane. You know, recliner seats with your table. They bring your food, you know. It's, it's a dining cinema. And then we have the, you know, the cube. The cube is like upper class on a plane. It sits only eight people. And you can actually choose your own film. And you can actually lie down, you know, the seats actually change into a bed. You can just lie down with your blankets and watch a film and it comes with your food and your drinks and your popcorn. Then you move from there to the IMAX. IMAX is a completely different class in itself, you know. And the screen itself is four stories high. Four stories high, just think about it. You know, silver screen, 3D IMAX is amazing. Now, regular 3D is when the image seems like it's coming to you and you're dodging. But IMAX 3D is as if you're in the screen. So it takes you into the movie. You know, things are coming from all around you, not just coming to you, it's coming everywhere, you know. And that is the experience. That is what we call cinema experience. You can never get on TV. The influx of modern cinemas in Nigeria is also helping to redefine the standards in the country's movie industry. Producers are now churning out quality movies for the cinemas with budgets averaging between $250,000 and $1.5 million. But the cinema, a lot of people can come out and watch movies with their loved ones or like before you have to stay back at home and do that. And aside that, before you put a film out there in the cinema, the quality is very important. So it has also helped 
the quality of our movies today and um, it's also <clears throat> the most important part of making movie is putting it out there for people to watch and distributing it. So first off, it creates an avenue where people can come and see this film and pay and see it and enjoy the worth of their money. And um, a lot of movies being shown out today are good quality movies, or like before. And this is what the cinema, um, the cinema business has cost. So it has, to me, I, it, 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 it has a positive impact on the industry. Nigeria cinema industry is now estimated to be worth over $7.2 billion. The making, distribution, and screening of moving pictures has become the country's second biggest source of employment after agriculture. Actually, I, I was serving with, my, with GTB in Lekker Branch, and um, I got hooked up with female staff, and uh, you know, he gave me a link for, to females. And when I finished serving from the banking, after a month or so, so females was actually the only offer I got then, and um, I joined them. So I was working for them as a logistic person. So I make a lot of savings while I was for females, and I put them together to get a truck, you know. And when I got it, and I, I met with the MD and other people with females, okay, I, I need to resign, I need to stand on my own. Uh, at the moment now, we have about nine trucks, and each truck about two drivers. We have about 23 staff right now. So everything, all of their movement from one side to another, everything has to do with females, with their logistics, as a date, I handle all of them. Nigeria cinema business is a lucrative venture that has a lot of prospects. And with a population of about 216 million people, Nigeria is a fertile ground for the business to thrive. It is now left to the government and private investors alike to fully harness its hidden potentials. Flourish Alonge, TV360, Lagos.